What is up YouTube? This is Danny's Reef Tank and today I am really excited to share with you guys this unboxing. First time ever ordering with this vendor. It's an online vendor. It's just simply www.cherrycorals.com. I've heard about them before on kind of like your reef to reef kind of style sites. Never actually placed an order and I've never actually taken the time to check out their website. Boy did I realize I was missing a lot. If you go to this website, cherrycorals.com, they have a ton, and I mean a ton of coral options, and at really good prices. Don't get me wrong, there's always, of course, any vendors going to have some really nice high-end stuff, uh, but a lot of the pieces I got today were $20 or less, and the size, quality, and color, and help were outstanding, but I will let this unboxing share all the details there. Uh, the only little concern I had was when actually opening this box immediately at this point was a little bit of an odor. Initially, odor scares you because you think, oh god, there's a leak, a lot of dead corals. Was not the case. I don't know what the odor was from because literally I checked every single bag individually and they looked good to go when I actually opened them up and everything like that and uh, started dipping them. But there was a little bit of odor. Heat was perfect. Packaging outstanding. They did the cup and the frag plugs just to make sure double protection and they also wrapped every individual coral individually so basically reduced your chances of leaks once i got them immediately did your typical get them acclimated to the temperature which is about sending them in the tank for about 15 to 30 minutes then i went immediately into dipping my dip of choice is going to be with brightwell aquatics it's a really good dip all you need to do is follow the instructions in the back it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple one thing Cherry Corals did provide with the box was a little handout, kind of like an acclimation guide of what you need to do. And two key things stood out to me. A, they mentioned recycling, reusing all packaging material if possible. And then B, to wear protection, which is really huge. So let's speed through this dipping real quick. And then I will show you actually a close up of some of the frags that I dipped a little bit earlier than the bulk of them. Keep in mind, when you do your dipping, it's a great chance to start acclimating them. I like to do a 50-50 blend as I'm acclimating corals. What I mean by that is take 50% of the water you're going to be using from your fish tank uh, and mix it in with the containers of the amount of water that you're going to be using from their tanks. After dipping was done, I didn't find any kind of unusual pests with the exception of your standard like copepods. There was a bristle star, but nothing to concern you there. So make sure when you're putting these back in your water, you do have a little container where you can dip them basically to get all of that coral dip off of the corals before entering them into your tank. And nonetheless, the moment you've been waiting for. Now this shot is them immediately after dipping and putting into the tank. Already can I see the outstanding coloration and health in these guys. And here's where they're shine guys and I promise you, if you order corals online, this is the website you need to order them for. The Aikens are outstanding. The price points are perfect. The variation and range of corals is also great. They have so many other options than just Aiken, but I really wanted to do a large LPS Aiken order here. The Zoas here are closed, uh, with the exception of the two strawberry wine pallies. The other is a baby uh, blue eyes. It was open. Uh, the day before and i don't think there's anything wrong there it just looked like the frag plug got knocked over probably by a hermit but guys look at these corals they are huge guys i promise you you will not regret ordering from them i hope you like this video like comment share and danny's out guys later youtube